Diary of Imogen Brown is a story of falling from great heights. Imogen, a successful businesswoman and mother, seems to have it all. But her envious philandering boyfriend Tyler Graham plans to cash in and take over her diamond company. After several failed attempts to get Imogen to marry him, he ends their six-year relationship. Heartbroken, Imogen falls into the hands of Stanley Coleman, who introduces her to a life of partying and drugs. Nadia Buari, a trained actress who has starred in scores of films, says this one is based on true life events, which resonated with some of the spectators. Based on a true story indeed, and it's an advice to the youth and the cast of course, I wish everybody was here to watch the movie because I've picked my side of the story and I hope anybody else who watched this would also have a say on it. Being Nadia's first movie, I enjoyed it. She's, she's family to me, I know them very well and so for me, it actually is something that she's really put a lot of energy and effort into. It's a masterpiece, it's something that is surely going to catapult her very far. And I believe with many such productions to come after that, it's going to become something very big and successful. But Nadia says Ghana's film industry still has a way to go before Gollywood can compete with Hollywood. We, um, we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. We have to learn, you know, we have to... Um, and we have to have the support of government because all of these works that we do, is, they're from out of our pocket. You know, producing this movie, every penny came from my pocket. You know, so um, if we don't have people investing into it, we're not going to get anywhere. We're not going to get great movies. We're not going to be able to compete or rub shoulders with people who are doing incredible works. With her directorial debut already getting glittering reviews, Ghanaian moviegoers will be keeping a keen eye out for Bwari's future projects in the new year. Clementine Logan, CCTV.